Hi, it's Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we put out some signal fires, and now Tarek, the leader of the Aerokoa, wants to attack us. And there's a quest over here with Defender Grashna to do that, but we do not have enough players to do it. I think you need two or three. So we're going to have to wait a little bit before we do that. But today, I plan on going to Ogrimmar and selling a lot of the BOEs that we have, upgrading our first aid and also getting some abilities on the druid. Or upgrading some abilities. So head to Ogremar. Maybe we'll do a quest. Maybe we'll head to the to the wastelands. And we'll uh, see what's going on there. Depends how quick we uh, get these auctions up. We do have a lot. To a first aid set. 352, we need to get to please 370 to read this last book. No, 360, so that's not too bad. So I'm going to get that done first, get rid of this. And then we'll head to uh, probably sell all these bandages. Because now after this, we should be able to make the heavy nether weaves. We won't have to worry about first aid anymore. This is long overdue. We probably should have had a uh, heavy nether weave for a while now. I think our alchemy can go up as well. Alchemy is only at uh, 300. So I could check that out. I don't think there's much for us to learn, though. I think I probably have to learn a lot of that stuff in, uh, in Outland, I would assume. So what should we be? What are we at? Almost at uh, 360. One more level to go. There we go. And we're learning heavy nether weed bandage. Done. Now we can make heavy, heavy nether weed bandages. I guess we'll make a couple. Why not? Put them on our bars. And it heals us for 3,400 damage over 8 seconds. Quite a bit. Get like a stack of 10. We'll get rid of this stack here. Free up some bag space. I'm kind of running out. Alright, so one more. We're good. Alright, time to sell some stuff on the auction house. So let's see what we got. We got plate helmet. Looks like there's one up there for 18 gold. We will put it up for... Uh, for 18 flat, 16 starting price. Let's see what else we got here. We have a soulbound ring. We have another soulbound ring here. I guess I'll put all the soulbound gear in this bag. Get all the BOEs, as many as we can in here. Let's check out this axe. One-handed axe, level 60. Handed axe. Just go like 60 to 63. Ours isn't bad. It has uh, attack power on it. I'd say it's kind of comparable to this one. It's less damage though by a little bit. So I'd say sell it for, I don't know, 7 gold. Okay, so here we go. We got these wrists. Gonna get rid of this. Intellect spell damage cloth wrists. Let's see if there's any on the auction house. Doesn't look like there is. Didn't expect there to be. Wrists. It's a uh, 60 plus, right? 60. Uh, looks like they're pretty cheap as well. I wouldn't charge too much for them. We'll give give people a pretty good deal here. We'll charge them like 950. It's like the lowest risks on the auction house. And then we got the boots here. 
Looks like there's none. Are they mail? You got some mail boots. We got some cloth boots here, though. Let's go to cloth boots. Vindicator boots. Looks like there's some here. So the chop cheapest Vindicator boots are these uh, Frozen Wrath ones. These boots really suck. It's got like frost resist. It's kind of, it's decent for if you're doing like Nax. But I don't think people are doing too much Nax anymore. Male boots. These are 61. They're, they're all right. These are actually pretty damn nice, and they're cheap. It's gonna make these kind of rough to sell. Makes you wonder how much they cost. I don't know. I guess we'll put them up for four ninety nine. Hopefully, that's a lot lower than the vendor price. And then we got these male wrists. Get rid of that. These are level 63. They're called Marsh Creeper Bracelets of Agility. These are actually pretty nice. I throw them up for seven. I think that's a fair price. All this stuff is soul bound. We have a mode of life. You also have a primal life. I wonder how much they're worth. Primal lives are nine gold. So we'll throw ours up there for, for nine ten. And then we got some gold. That's nothing. Cloth shoulders. Hopefully these are on the nope. It's never on the auction house. You always have to look. These are level 61. Oh, some cheap ones. This one just gives intellect, like... Let's say I throw it up for 9 gold. Those other ones are a little too low. And we got this leather hood. It's a nice hood, but it's soul bound. I think that's it for BOEs. So here we go. Play chess. This is a nice chest. And it's self 62. It's a canalish plate. It's probably one of the better canalishes out there. This guy's selling his canalish for uh, 35 gold. I think we could throw this up for like 20 gold. It's a really nice chest. I'm gonna throw it up for 20 gold. It's pretty cheap. And we got these cloth legs, 64 stamp. I'm just gonna throw these up for nine gold. I'm not gonna look. Kind of getting a good idea for how much they sell for. If it's a nice piece, it's just under 10, so you you know kind of make a little bit of profit. It's not like vendor prices. And if it's a nice piece, you can sell for like you know for like 20 to 50. It has the right stats on it. Mode of life. 67. I guess we'll just keep collecting those. And I think that's okay for now. Unless we want to get rid of these Terra Cones. I think we want to keep them because we want to eventually uh, get our herbalism up. We do have some like warped flesh. Which this stuff is. 69 silver each for the warped flesh. I guess we'll sell this for uh, 7 gold to see if we can sell it. Do you have any other like meats like that? Buzzard meat? It's pretty cheap. Sell this for a gold, uh, gold 60. 
Got a lot of light feathers. Nine silver each. Sellers for a gold ten. You got a chunk of basilisk. Oh, the meat's actually pretty good. It's not bad. It's for a gold twenty-three. All right, well, hopefully all that sells. That should be enough. And our Primal Life sold. It's good. I had a feeling that would sell fast. Okay, so let's uh, put some stuff in the bank. Probably could have sold these uh, rune cloths. What are you looking Won't be for? using them anymore. I guess we'll just put them in our box. And then all the herbs, too. We don't really need herbs. Unless we plan on level in alchemy. Maybe we'll do that later. I don't really think we could level it that much. Depends how much herbs we got in the bank here. Alright, so that's a, that's a little bit better. Par the hard. Better than before. Alright, so let's have a little chat here with, um, One of the guards. I think the druid trainer's in the back. Loktar. They don't have a druid trainer here. Oh my gosh, totally forgot. For the whore. Still like that? I was thinking it was like retail, you know what I mean? Because TBC. Should have went to Thunder Bluff. Stakes were mid. It's all good. This will hearth out, and we'll have to do some... I can go to the Druid Trainer later, maybe. We'll do a le another episode. But at least we got some stuff out of our bags. Now we're going to head off to uh, the Wastelands. Hopefully we make a little bit of gold. It's not like we need the gold... We do have enough for our flying mount when we hit level 68. But if we ever want epic flying, we will need a... Uh, we, we'll need much more gold than what we have. 70 warlock there. Doing some quests. Getting some gold. Yeah, I call this place... It's called the Bone Wastes. It's called the Wastelands. Yeah, we should be in, uh... Should try to get in some dungeons in Akundun. A lot of dungeons to do. What's this guy? Maketa. Let's have a you chat with him. Akundun is home to my ancestors' spirits. I might not look it, but all broken were once drain eye. Our spirits are all the same. Before darkness falls. After our caravan fell prey to an attack by Shadow Council Cabal Cultus scouts, were sent to Shatrath to call for help. Guards think they are think we're safe now, but they underestimate these madmen. I, for one, am not looking forward to having my throat slit by some cabal initiate in the middle of the night. Do us all a favor and take them take the fight to them before they come to us. You will find our attackers south of here at Akundun's northern entrance. All right, so it looks like we're gonna go to war with the cabal. It's funny how these guys are able to hold this uh, broken down catapult here. There's like waves and waves of stuff coming at them. So we'll take this herb, because so nobody wants it. And let's uh, track this quest. And there we go. I get four of these guys. Oh, they're destroying. Crazy how these guys are only level 62. Cabal orders. Looks like we got a little quest here. I guess we'll check it out. This message bears a dark seal, and though the language seems somewhat familiar, 
it appears to be encoded. Perhaps someone at the refugee caravan will know something about it. So I'll have to bring that to Maqueda. Yeah, we still have a decent amount of quests to do here. There's a bunch to do in the Bone Waste, which is good. So I can still do quests while looking for dungeon groups. I can find some right now. See if anybody's doing like a normal to mech. It's a black morass. Look at all the dungeons, this crazy shadow lab's too high for us. Rage. Ramparts. Mana tombs, That's, that should be one we should try. I might do mana tombs soon. That is one we can do. other ones. I think Akanai Crypts or whatever what it's called. It's like another, uh, air, it's like an air color dungeon. I wish they needed a tank for mana tubes. I might actually try to do that. So that's heroic. A lot of people looking for ramparts. Yeah, I think we can get into man tombs. It's like the first one you want to do. It's a cool dungeon. And it's good that we do dungeons too because we get rep as well. Which will hopefully unlock heroics down the line. And we get revered, which will take, take some time. It is a big grind getting all the, the reps done. Okay, so this should be the last skirmisher. Then we just need a couple spell reavers and initiate. Looks like there's a lot of, uh, a lot of cars still going on. One thing I'm interested in is how long will it take people to eventually uh, pug uh, Tempest Keep and SSC. Probably take a while. They're much harder than Garazan, so supposedly. I've never done them, but I've heard that uh, last couple bosses can be pretty challenging. Especially to Kale Thos and Lady Dash. But the PTR has shown a lot of success, and I think a lot of those groups are pug groups. There are guilds going in there. I think every boss has been slain, right, on the PTR. I'm not sure if Lady Bash has been slain yet, but I assume that they've let her, they let people test, test her. Cool if they didn't. Yeah. 
Oh, no. This guy's like an elite. You know, the initiate can't get the last one we need. Fell right into our trap. What's going on here? Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fooled me, dude. Can't believe I fell for that. Ran away and did a little feigned death. Alright, well, we wrecked those cabal, cabalists, and I guess we'll turn this in. We also got a letter. I wonder if we can read it. It's one thing I don't like about TBC. Like, a lot of letters you can't even read. Like, in Classic, they would, like, at least write the letter. So you can see what it says. Like... For darkness I falls. I think the there's light. some like that in TBC, though. I can bre breathe a sigh of relief now. If like here, the Shadow Council will be held off for the time being. They are murderers and cowards, and your display of courage will keep them at bay. Cabal orders. You wish to show me something, Flag Carrier? Ah, yes. This was written in a basic form of Shadow Cipher. My knowledge of it is not perfect, but it should suffice to translate this. You learn much about unsavory subjects when you live among outcasts and refugees in Lower City. Alright, so it looks like we gotta go into the Shadow Tomb. Don't think we'll do that today. Because that's like it leads up to a lot of different stuff. I think we'll probably head back to Stonebreaker. Because we're all gonna do a bunch of quests in that tomb. Probably take a while to do. And I thought we would be in Ogre Mar a lot longer than we actually were. But the good thing is, is now we have a Tevi Netherweave bandage. Oh, is this where we want to be? No. It's the other. It's the other base on the other side of the mountain. But we do have a Tevi Netherweave bandage. I still believe I have to sell. These, uh, these old ones. So we'll do that. Yeah, I underestimate the speed of the Epicoto Mount. You move pretty fast around Outland with it. It's gonna be rough on the Paladin and the Shaman, because we'll most likely be on uh, 60 speeds. But it won't be that bad, because Paladin has, like, a speed buff, which is nice. But on the Shaman, I don't think we'll have that, so we'll probably have to get Carrot on a stick just to give it a little bit of a boost. Ugh. Here we are, Stonebreaker hold. What can I help you with? All right, so let's get rid of this junk. Looks like we have a decent amount of waters. Everything's looking good. Got a couple, Drink. couple strong alcoholic beverages here. So we'll have a couple drinks for the successful mission. There we go. It looks like we can only have one. It's a pretty damn long cooldown for that beverage. But that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.